Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a check out the performance of the Infinix Note 11 Pro against the Redmi 10 and the Redmi 10 is powered by a MediaTek Helio G88 processor with a 6GP of RAM while on the Infinix Note 11 Pro we have a MediaTek Helio G96 processor with 8GP of RAM on the back we have a quad cameras on the Redmi 10 on the Infinix we have a triple cameras on the back we have 50 megapixel main camera on the Redmi 10 versus a 64 megapixel main camera on the Infinix Note 11 Pro. Also we have 8 megapixel ultra wide, we also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the Infinix we have a 13 megapixel telephoto lens which gives you a 2x optical zoom and lastly we have a 2 megapixel depth sensor no ultra wide lens on the Infinix Note 11 Pro and the packet is made up of plastic on both phones. We have a glossy finish on the Redmi versus a matte finish on the Infinix and the frame is also is made up of plastic both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side on the bottom we also have a dual speakers on both phones we have headphone jack on both phones which is on the bottom on the infinix as compared to on the top on the redmi 10 so in this video i'm going to show you how much a difference between the mediatek helio g96 processor versus the mediatek helio g88 processor so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time here we go and the logo is came up first on the Infinix as compared to the Redmi 10. Also we have Android 11 on both phones. We have MIUI version 12.5 enhanced version while on the Infinix we have XOS which is a version 10 based on Android 11 Infinix Note 11 Pro faster when it comes to booting up. The Redmi 10 is still now it is also done and you can see about a 2 or 4 second difference there. And guys now let's talk about the displays between these devices on the Infinix. We have a 6.95 inch Full HD IPS LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate. While on the Redmi 10 we have a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display with 90Hz refresh rate. And both phones also has a punch hole on the center which looks exactly the same. I like the display quality of the Infinix Note 11 Pro because the colors as well as the side angles it is it is much better on the Infinix. Okay guys everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Now let's start off with the phone dialer that is more faster on the Infinix. So next on the list is the settings. Little more faster on the Infinix if I'm not wrong. Now let's go to the display. 120Hz refresh rate versus a 90Hz on the Redmi 10. So now let's check out some more application like Amazon Shopping launching at the same time. Faster on the Infinix Note 11 Pro as compared to the Redmi 10. Let's see the scrolling. That is is, I would say, really smooth on both phones. Not a huge difference between 90Hz and 120Hz. But no issue whatsoever. Now let's see some games application. Now let's see Candy Crush Saga. Candy Crush faster on the Infinix as compared to the Redmi 10 about half a second difference there now let's open Instagram faster on the Infinix now let's open Snapchat again faster on the Note 11 Pro now let's open Pinout Pinout also faster on the Infinix Note 11 Pro so the MediaTek Helio G96 it is more faster as compared to the MediaTek Helio G88 processor inside the Redmi 10 now let's open Subwoofer and subwoofer should be more faster on the Infinix. Also, you can see the colors of the display. Exactly the same on both phones and you can see no difference there this time. Now let's open Spotify faster on the Note 11 Pro. Now let's open Temper N2. And Temper N2 looks faster on the Infinix. But let's see at the end. Yes, a little more faster there. Also, we have dual speakers on both phones. Infinix Note 11 Pro is faster there for the Redmi 10. Now it is also done. And you can see about 4 4 second difference there. So here is the speakers of the Note 11 Pro with max volume. We have dual speakers. So here is the Redmi 10. Max volume. I would say that and the speakers very similar on both phones. 
now let's open PUBG mobile and you can see we have huge delay on the Redmi 10 again we have emit attack Helio G96 versus emit attack Helio G88 Note 11 Pro little bit more faster as compared to the Redmi 10 again we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate on both phones maximum now let's opening up the tutor and the tutor faster on the Note 11 Pro as compared to the Redmi 10 now let's open Zedge Zedge a little more faster on the Note 11 Pro now let's see the scrolling really smooth on both phones I didn't see any lag it is very hard to tell which one is 120Hz and which one is 90Hz both phones looks really really smooth and last time I launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one faster on the Note 11 Pro as compared to the Redmi 10 again we have 64 megapixel main camera versus a 50 megapixel main camera also we have ultra wide versus a telephoto on the Note 11 Pro now let's see internet on speed IMC default Google Chrome on both phones also we have same Wi-Fi network wikipedia.org little more faster on the Infinix Note 11 Pro now let's see the scrolling and the start I see a little bit lag but after some time really smooth on both phones now let's open English a little bit faster on the Infinix let's see the scrolling again very smooth on both phones now I can see the 120 Hertz a little bit a little bit more visible next on the list is the apple.com and a little more faster on the Note 11 Pro now let's see the scrolling and yes now I can see the difference a little bit more as compared to before so guys now let's see RAM much more on both phones we have 8 GB of RAM versus a 6 GB of RAM and both phones also has a extended RAM feature now let's see that was perform good in the RAM much more we have a lot of application in the background let's see phone dialer that is seems like no refresh let's see settings no refresh Amazon shopping and that got refresh on the Redmi 10 let's see Candy Quest Saga refresh on the redmi 10 instagram that is seems like refresh on the redmi now let's see snapchat that is refresh let's see pin out same result let's see subway suffer now let's open spotify same result again so the ram is man it is really bad on the redmi 10 let's see temper and two same every single application it is refresh on both phones except the system based application now let's open pubg mobile that is not refresh on both phones so that's really good thing now let's opening up the tutor that is it is a in-app refresh Zedge Zedge is looks like refresh but it is not refresh last way back to the internet browser that is refresh on the Redmi 10 and guys over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the Infinix Note 11 Pro is performed more faster as compared to the Redmi 10 only in the game app loading time would say that in system based application and both phones is performed very similar in terms of the RAM image wise and the Infinix Note 11 Pro is performed excellent in the RAM management while on the Redmi 10 we have a lot of refresh also now let's talk about the battery sizes we have 5000 mAh battery size on both phones with 18 watt fast charging versus a 33 watt super fast charging also the Infinix is also manufactured in Pakistan that's a really good thing so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this p-test comparison between the Infinix Note 11 Pro versus the Redmi 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for the direct videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.